now we are really playing the Minecraft Skyblock Challenge. <laughs> this is a Loft official trailer. This is a survival game, I think, from what from what I'm seeing, what what I've seen, a little bit of what I've seen. Anyways, welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Take fate into your own hands. Sending out a lot of love, and let's hop into this Loft. Let's go pre pre alpha footage. We got the Airbenders. Okay. Okay, it's like a cute little survival sim 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 simmer sim sim uh. <laughs> Oh, it looks pretty bad. The building looks pretty badass. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the building doesn't seem too bad. It, it just doesn't, this is pre-alpha footage, so it doesn't seem like there's a lot in the game, but oh, let's keep letting it play. Okay, I like how simple it looks. It looks a little bit simple. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, got a little more technical. Okay, 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 wait, wait. I'll take back my statement. Okay, so, okay, okay. The islands are pretty big. Skyships? Oh, you can fly the island? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need some, I need some, like, background on the lore. So, do you have an island that you start off with? I wonder if that. Hang on, I think I heard some. One sec, I'll be right back. I was right. It was the meow. It was the meow. It was the meow. It was the meow. All right, but this looks pretty cool. We're like, <laughs> we're like airbenders. <laughs> so okay, it got a little bit more technical. I was not expecting that for them to go and like be connecting the little like pulley, well, not pulley system, but like the. I don't know, rope and turnies, pulleys <laughs> with the sails. So what, do we get like an island to start off on or you kind of pick your island? I wonder how that's gonna go. Um, one big tip, just I just wanna give out these tips to developers, big, big, big tip, a customization as much as possible. Biggest thing with survival games is the uniqueness of builds, you know, the length and the biggest thing you can in my opinion, I mean, it's my opinion at the end of the day, but biggest thing is character customization and build customization and snap points like axis of whatever they're called the little building snapping points as many of those to make, you know, make the pieces flow together, whatever, just but add more variety for those because that's the biggest thing that I, you know, at least I know from my circle of players that I play with. We're not play with, but talk to, and that's what we like. And just stuff to do, but like, yeah. And finding that good balance between, um, we're gonna see weather here in a minute, so let me not get too, too out of out of this. But I'll go right here. But um, biggest thing is finding that balance between like progression. You know, sometimes I don't like when a game specifically feel well, sometimes there's tougher survival games. It's such a hard thing to gauge because it's really like to each their own. There's harder survival games and easier ones. But then there's ones like that you would really like to play. But sometimes it's just like the progression feels like certain things or certain mechanics work in a certain way to make you stay on the game longer. So, you know, I mean, it's just all I guess it's all just yeah. all right. <clears throat> The game does look vast now. I thought there was going to be like super small islands. I was trying to figure out how you do this. The UI looks pretty nice. I like how you could do that. Drag the sails and all that. Make them just custom size. You got storms and shit. That's pretty cool. That would be terrifying to be on those in storms. Combat looks like doofy but fun. Oh! Oh, are you like purging? Are you like cleaning some of the islands? Oh! Wait there. 
Whoa, this is such a okay. This got cooler. This got cooler. Oh, it's coming 2024. <laughs> oh shit, that's deep. I'm all right. I, I won't keep you much longer. I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and then I'm gonna get out of here. I like the idea of the game. I feel like I feel like this is how the Airbenders live in Avatar: The Last Airbender. It's a beautiful game. I think the way they showed the creatures here. This is beautiful. I wonder if we could base on one of them. That's pretty cool. This makes me think about Valheim, which, again, more Avatar inspiration. I like these world turtles. So I like that. I, I know this has to come from somewhere. I gotta gotta do some searching. It'd be crazy if Earth was one big turtle that we're on the back of, but in the crevices, like the water and stuff, and it's just such a gigantic turtle that we can't tell. But it does really feel. Like airbender ish inspired. They feel like monks in the air. I like that. I like the idea. Um, I like the almost like I can't think of a game to reference, but it's almost like I guess the quickest one that pops in my mind is Breath of the Wild esque style of the way things look. And the building looks like you can get pretty creative with it. So, yeah. And you're never always going to make everything. You're going to like survival games are where you set your own goals and stuff. But I wondered right here when, yeah, was this like purging the island, like the fungus? That's really cool that you could do that. I want to know more about how sailing the islands works, so yeah. But you know me, I, I pay attention to so much, so I only get like, you know, by ear or whatever I see pop up at the time. But I got a lot of other videos to cover. Hey, shout out to the devs, you guys did some work here. I like the way it looks. I like the design. Honestly, I'm sold, and I'll play this. I'm a survival game player, so i'm in there much love and moonlight and i'll see you in the next one peace out